Hello campers, welcome back to another day at Camp Hope. We are so excited that you are here with us today. If you remember on Monday, we started learning about God's special rescue plan to come and save all the people in the world. Well, today is the day where we're finally gonna find out what God did to rescue all of us. So let's get our Bibles out and let's get started. Today, we are going to hear the story of Jesus. So one night, Jesus was praying in a garden with his friends when all of a sudden soldiers came to arrest him, even though he hadn't done anything wrong. Is that kind? Is that good? I don't think so. Well, the soldiers took Jesus to the leaders and the leaders said, Jesus, you've been saying that you're God's son, but we don't believe you. Can you believe that? Jesus was telling the truth. He really was God's son, but they still didn't believe him. So the soldiers took Jesus away and they made him carry a huge wooden cross. And they took Jesus up to a hill and they nailed him to that cross. And do you know what happened to Jesus when he was up on that cross? He died. Show me with your face. How would you have felt if you had been there the day Jesus died? That would have made me so, so sad. And you know what? Even though I wasn't there, it still makes me sad even hearing about it today. So Jesus died up on that cross and all of his friends were so sad, but they forgot something very important. Jesus told his friends that he was not going to stay dead. In fact, he said, I'm going to see you again. But his friends forgot about that. So after Jesus died and they put him in his tomb, they rolled a big stone in front of the tomb and they put soldiers there to guard the tomb so that no one could get in or out. Well, three days after Jesus died, his friend Mary Magdalene was going with some of her friends to visit Jesus's tomb. When all of a sudden they saw an angel. <gasps> How would you feel if you saw an angel? Whoa, maybe they were surprised. Maybe they were excited. Maybe they were a little scared. I'm not sure how I would feel. Maybe I would feel all of those things. Well, they saw this angel and the angel said, don't be sad, don't be scared. Jesus is not here. He is alive. Whoa, Jesus was alive again. Can you believe that? What would that feel like if you were there and you heard the angel tell you, Jesus isn't here anymore. He has risen, he's alive again. Oh, I would feel so excited and joyful. And I would just wanna go tell everybody. Now I wanna show you this another way because I wanna show you why it was so important that Jesus was alive again. So here I have two balloons and this really tall balloon way up here at the top. That balloon represents God. And this balloon right here represents you and me and all the people in the whole world. Do you remember on Monday when Pastor Nick told us that the very first people named Adam and Eve made a mistake? They ate the fruit from that tree that God told them not to eat. They disobeyed God. Well, God is perfect. And so he can't be close to us when we make those kinds of mistakes that are called sin. Sin separates us from God. So in the very beginning, people were really close to God. But when people started making those mistakes, it separated us from God. Here I have a blanket and this blanket represents 
all those mistakes that we make. It represents our sin. Because remember, God can't be close to sin because God is perfect. So God is way up here, but our sin separates us from God. Oh no. This is why God made a special rescue plan because God wants us to be way up here with him. So God sent his son Jesus to earth and Jesus grew up and he taught people about God's love. And then when Jesus died on the cross and he rose again three days later, something amazing happened. He took away all of our sin and it was gone. So do you know what that means? We get to be close to God again. And when we believe that Jesus died for us, when we believe that Jesus saved us, that he really is God's son, we get to be in God's special family forever and ever and ever someday. We get to be close to him again. And do you know why God did that? Do you know why he sent his son? Do you know why Jesus died on the cross? It's because he loves us. Jesus loves you and you. Jesus loves you and you and you. Jesus loves all of us. And he loves us so much that he gave up his own life so that we could be close to him and close to God forever and ever and ever. And that is a really big love. It's bigger than this. God's love is bigger than this. It's bigger than this. It's bigger than this whole campfire. It's bigger than the whole world. It's bigger than the whole universe and all of outer space. God's love for you is so super big. It's the biggest thing that there has ever been. And do you know what else I love about God's love? It's not just for you. And it's not just for me. It's for everybody. It's for everybody in the whole wide world. God's love is for people who look like you and people who don't look like you. It's for people who think like you do and for people who think differently. God's love is for people who like to play soccer like you or who, for people who like to sing like you. It's for people who like to color like you. And it's for all the people who like something different. God's love is for every single person in the whole wide world, no matter what. God's love is for you. It's for people like you who are super nice. It's for people who aren't so nice. It's for people who have blue eyes or brown eyes. It's for everybody. Jesus died for you and for the people next to you. Jesus died for your neighbors. Jesus died for everybody in our city. Jesus died for everybody in our country. Jesus died for everybody in the whole wide world. God's love is for you. And God's love is for everybody. And God wants us to share that love with everyone we meet. So let's pray and let's ask God to help us do that. Let's get out our God hand and our me hand and put them together because we are reminded when we talk to God just how close we are to him all the time. Repeat after me and let's pray. Dear God, Thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you so much for your love and your light. Help us to share your amazing love with everyone we meet. We are so glad that you love us with a never-ending, 
always going, super big, really exciting kind of love. We love you too. Amen. It was so good to be with you today, boys and girls. We'll see you tomorrow.